Good morning, I'm Danny Hollingsworth, a solution specialist here at Avid. We're here at uh, NAB 2019 and we're in the workflow suite today. So we're kind of behind closed doors and doing stuff we do off of the booth. So we can't show you everything we have in here right now, but let's just concentrate on some of the big things. So a lot to show in here. We've got everything you know, from fast serve to editorial management, which you can see out on the right there. Uh, and obviously there's actually been some, you know, some maybe some fairly big news around Media Composer. So it's 30 years of Media Composer this year, and to kind of honor that, in the workflow suite here, we've been looking at the original reveal of Media Composer you know, 30 years ago. So we've got Bill Warner here. In fact, maybe let's take a look. The logo is a little bit different. I continuously felt there had to be a better way to make videos. And so in 1987, I set out to build a company that would deliver that new way of editing. We've done it. It's called the Avid One Media Composer. I'd like to show you the system right now. So a fantastic video. And obviously, you know, a lot's changed. We've got Media Composer here in 1989. A lot has changed. But at the same time, the core concepts that Bill introduced all those years ago are still really relevant today. And you know, a lot of that has kind of carried through all the way through to today. So with that, and uh, in honor of Bill, we're reimagining Media Composer now for the next you know, 30 years. And so in honor of Bill, it's probably only fitting that we reveal Media Composer 2019. So brand new Media Composer interface here. A lot to show. This is obviously a, you know, a big hero interface, but really what we're trying to do is actually simplify uh, the Media Composer experience. So on the, on the reverse of that, that's kind of you know, maybe for the you know, more experienced editors, but if you're kind of new and you're starting out, we're really trying to simplify the interface to have, you know, you come in, we have a nice big timeline. We have our, what we call bin container, whereas we, you know, where we keep all of uh, our bins, it's kind of like a workspace for the bins, so you can tab stuff in there. And in fact, that's one of the big things we're looking at. It's now you know, a new panel UI, so much more responsive. You can see we've got a bin here. This is what we call bin map, just up here. And this allows me, see, I've, I'm in a frame view, so I've got lots of, uh, maybe I've set different scenes out and I've laid out all the different frames so the editor can go in there and find the different scenes. Now, traditionally, you'd have to keep scrolling up and down. Now with the bin map, I can just travel around the bin, a bit like a, a map in a video game. I can find the areas I want to go to very quickly and you know, dynamically move there really fast. So I mentioned it's a uh, panel UI, so I can you know, tab and panel stuff around. So I'm just gonna drop this bin into the bottom here. You can see it goes green. This tells me that I can drop my bin in here and I can, I can actually then panel it in. So if I do this, you think, oh, Danny, all of your, uh, your other bins, all that material's gone. Because of the responsive UI, I can just drag that down. You can see I get all that information back there. So really, really responsive. And another thing I can do, and bear with me, I've only got one or oh, two hands and I'm holding the mic. So the other thing I can do is I try to panel here. It shows me where I can panel this stuff out. The other question people ask is, can I pop things out? Of course you can. So if you want to work the traditional way with you know, floating bins and stuff like that, we can absolutely do that still too. The other thing you can do is really you know, utilize the screen real estate. So what I can do here is when I go to try and panel, you might say, hey, actually, I don't want to panel just on the left there. If I hold down a modifier, so I'm going to hold down control, I can now panel all the way to the left side. And you see we get this huge bin now. So we get a really big view of my bin. I'm using all the screen real estate, especially if you're working on maybe a laptop or something like that. On the left here, we can also push the bins back as well. So we actually get an even bigger view. And now I can you know, travel around this really large bin here. We get a nice big view of the bins. And it's really responsive and enables me to set up different workspaces. And speaking of workspaces, on the right-hand side, if we just take a look out on the right here, we're now, you know, Media Composer's had workspaces for a number of years. So what you can see here is on the, on the right-hand side of the screen, um, oh, I suppose it's your left, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so on the right-hand side of the screen, what we can see is we have the uh, edit workspace, we have the color workspace, and all these different workspaces that have been there for years, but we're now exposing them to, to new users. Um, the first thing a lot of editors say is, hey, can I get rid of that? Absolutely. Right-click, and I can hide that. And it hasn't actually gone away. So if you look at the top here, you can see we still have access to that, but we're now getting all that screen real estate back again. So a lot of big improvements. and I'm, can't really go through everything today, but I'm just gonna leave you with one more thing. So anyone that's been me using Media Composer for a number of years, if I just zoom in here, 
We'll probably remember this little guy. So the weightlifter's back. He's back in Media Composer. Uh, this is where we you know, lift things out of the uh, timeline. And also the, the cut tool is now, uh, the, or the extract is now a uh, pair of scissors as well. So the uh, old icons are back in. So a few things for the, for the, uh, the more experienced editors out there as well. And hopefully uh, you might have to get some new keys for your keyboards or even get those old keyboards out and uh, do PS2 to, to uh, USB conversions. So a lot in the new Media Composer uh, to look at, and we're just showing you a really small fraction of it. And obviously there's a lot at the show, so we've got Nexus Cloud Spaces, we've got Editorial Management, absolutely loads of things for post-production this year. This is the year, 2019 is the year for post-production, it's the year for Avid, the year for Media Composer. So come down to the booth, and if you're lucky enough, get into the workflow suites and come and see me, Kent, and the other guys, and, and see what we're doing. So have a great show, and we'll see you next year.